So by now you've almost certainly heard of SingularityNet, the AGIX token, and the ERC20 converter. But today let's take a step back and take a look at how can AI and blockchain work together, how can the Cardano blockchain make this better, and how does the AGIX token play into all of this? Let's take a look together in the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today it's time for the weekly report. This week we wanted to focus on artificial intelligence on the blockchain and specifically SingularityNet. Last week on the weekly report when we were talking about Cardano 360, we mentioned that Ben Gertzel had a really good interview that we thought you all should check out. But there was part of the interview that really jumped out at us and got us thinking, it's probably a good thing for us to revisit how SingularityNet is really approaching this whole thing and the importance of all of the work that's being done. I do think AI in a way is the foundational technology. I mean, if you can make a machine smarter than people and benevolently oriented toward people, then as I.J. Good said in 1965, like the first truly intelligent machine will be the last invention that humanity needs to make, right? So in a way, AI potentially trumps everything. So that's a pretty huge statement with pretty big implications, right? So that really got us thinking. And we came and looked at this blog post that Dr. Ben Gertzel had put out a couple of weeks ago about the critical role of AI and blockchain synergy in humanity's future. So I think it's probably best to start at this section of his blog and then work our way back up because we all know that artificial intelligence is this huge thing that's coming. It's going to fundamentally revolutionize pretty much everything and how we do things on this planet. But how and why is it that AI and blockchain are going to work together? So he brings up a couple of good points. He says that blockchain needs AI. For the blockchain ecosystem to successfully fulfill its mission of decentralizing and democratizing the world economy, it's going to need to integrate AI deeply in multiple different ways. For example, if we look at even just the Cardano blockchain that we know today, you could have Cardano stake pool distribution and stake distribution across those pools driven in a way that's optimized by a neural symbolic AI. We've talked a lot about Hydra, for example, and how that's going to optimize things and really speed things up with these mini micro ledgers. They're gonna be set up as side chains running on the Cardano blockchain. It's pretty easy to imagine how Hydra using AI could have sharding on a large scale using a custom singularity net oriented Cardano side chain that has AI driven sharding solutions. And those are just two examples of things that we talk about every day in the Cardano ecosystem that we do right now manually on the Cardano blockchain that could be optimized by AI. And then similarly, he makes the argument that AI itself needs blockchain and more fundamentally that humanity needs AI to need blockchain. And what he says is that AI doesn't necessarily need blockchain in order to dominate the world economy. This is already happening today with like Google and Facebook and some of these huge companies with their massive server farms. But however, if we want this near inevitable AI economic domination to result in a broad human benefit rather than primarily just serving a small sector of society, it's going to be critical that the architecture of the emerging global AI is decentralized and democratic in nature. And the only practical path that we have to that right now is blockchain technology. So blockchain can benefit from AI and having some of the things that we do manually sped up and done in a more intelligent way. AI can use blockchain to democratize the process and make sure that we don't just aggregate these things to just some third party privatized powers. But then how does SingularityNet come into all of this and what is SingularityNet and what are they doing today and what's their roadmap moving forward? If we come to their actual site, and we keep in mind that right now, everything right now is currently running on the Ethereum blockchain. That's the whole point of the conversion moving over to Cardano. But currently right now, what they have is an AI marketplace where what you can do is, there's all these different AI products that you can use and you can use them as the underlying infrastructure underneath a dApp that you're building. For example, like this one here, a song splitter, that what it can do is it can split for you in a song the vocals and the instruments, and then you could have a dApp that maybe could utilize that AI engine underneath. There's facial recognition, you know, identification of different types of objects and flowers and things like that. They also have a staking portal that's live right now, again, on the Ethereum blockchain where you can stake your AGIX tokens and get some reward back. But in terms of where SingularityNet is going moving forward, the vision that he sets here is actually a really incredible one to think about where what if we did, you know, sort of a meta scale AI on top of AI aggregating itself so you could have more than just a decentralized marketplace of separate AI services, some AI domain specific language, which we'll talk about in a moment, could allow SingularityNet to be a primordial soup of AI in which different AI components created by different authors can all come together in context appropriate ways that form emergent AI functionalities that didn't exist before. So for example, let's use DeFi as an example. You could have one AI agent doing altcoin price analysis, another one doing news analysis, and then you could have another one doing abstract symbolic reasoning, and you could bring all of this together to make a new multi-agent approach 
for altcoin portfolio optimization. And this is just one example of how you can aggregate disparate apps and bring them together to a new kind of solution. And what he says here is that this AI domain specific language has actually already been under development by SingularityNet and IOG since late 2020. And it's gonna allow these AI services to describe their properties and requirements to each other using some kind of standardized language. So if we've got these different AI engines, they're all doing their different things, but we need them to communicate to each other in some domain specific way, we start thinking, okay, well, what language would be good to help us facilitate taking something that's very scientific or mathematical and roll it into code very easily without introducing a lot of errors. That's where Haskell and Plutus work really, really well, and that's why they were chosen for this purpose. And that's exactly what he says here. Cardano's use of Haskell and Plutus works elegantly with the more sophisticated type theoretic mechanisms leveraged in the AI DSL framework. So it sounds like we have this really good opportunity to take this need of AI and blockchain to be paired together, to take these apps that already exist on SingularityNet to be able to aggregate them together, and to be able to do that with domain-specific language on the Cardano blockchain using Plutus and Haskell. And so then we think, okay, but if it's on Ethereum right now, then why didn't they just launch a Cardano in the first place? Why even bother with Ethereum? We launched SingularityNet running on Ethereum pretty much because it was there, it was easier to work with Ethereum smart contracts than to build our own blockchain or to build on top of, of Bitcoin, which didn't have as mature of a, a smart contract framework. I was never incredibly happy with Ethereum. And, I mean, I love the Ethereum guys and the philosophy of a world computer is, is kick-ass, right? But that solidity... Solidity is not a very advanced programming language. If you look at the modern theory of, of programming languages and, and computer science and proof of proof of work in, in the form that you have in Bitcoin or Ethereum didn't ever turn me on too much just because of the, you know, hastening the heat death of the universe un, un, unnecessarily and, and, and the heat death of the, of the planet as well, right? So when when I saw... Cardano emerging based on Haskell as a smart contract language, which is which is a fundamentally superior programming approach to Solidity web, web assembly and, and so forth. And and without this legacy of proof of work to overcome either, it was very appealing to move to move the underlayer of singularity net onto Cardano. So that makes sense, right? Launch an Ethereum first because that's what was around. Now that Cardano has smart contracts and Haskell and Plutus facilitate this kind of translation into artificial intelligence much more smoothly, now you make your way over to Cardano. And as he says here, SingularityNet began on Ethereum in 2017, but was always multi-chain in conception and ambition. So this is really just something they've been trying to do now for a long time. And then sort of the big step in this direction is the AGIX ADA token converter bridge and the ERC20 converter, which we've talked about multiple times. But then that brings up the question of like, okay, but then what is the AGIX token? And what is the function that the AGIX token even serves other than just being like a value representation of SingularityNet? So SingularityNet, we can look at as a, a layer in the decentralized tech stack, right? And Singularity Net, it's a multi-agent system that allows multiple AI agents to communicate, cooperate with each other, share information, out, out, outsource work to each other. And the AGIX token is, it's the payment token, it's the reputation rating token, it's the governance and voting token of this multi-agent AI system. So the AGIX token looks like it's going to serve several different functions, including governance, which as we know, if you choose to launch our Cardano, you basically get for free, especially once the Voltaire era is fully rolled out. So that makes a lot of sense in terms of why they're trying to transition over to Cardano. And so we see here that the AGIX token moving to Cardano with the ERC20 converter is just the first step. After the release of the converter bridge on mainnet, development efforts will focus on porting the Singularity Net Marketplace, Staking Portal, and other tools to Cardano. This will result in a platform with much greater speed, lower cost, and greater usability than has been possible on Ethereum. So the announcement that was made a couple of weeks ago about the ERC20 converter with the AGIX tokens going live on April 18th is just the first step of a much larger migration of SingularityNet and their AGIX tokens from the Ethereum blockchain 
to the Cardano blockchain and then growing from there. Once it's brought over, we expect that the staking portal will probably be completely revamped. So we'll go into much more detail about that once staking is actually live for AGIX on Cardano. But the first really big step in not only Singularity Net moving from Ethereum to Cardano, but the ERC20 converter and AGIX being the first token that allows coins to move from Ethereum and be swapped on Cardano, all of this is happening right around the corner. We can't wait to see more. Let us know if we missed anything of what you're excited about. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.